Good afternoon, my name is Tom Brinsonoff, Certified Master Tech out of Reading, PA. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to replace your car door mirror. It's really not that difficult. Um, the first thing you want to remember is you got to take your door panel off. You got to take all your screws off. Um, this one has like five or six of them. Every vehicle is a little different as to the location and how the panel comes off. So if you're not sure, you might want to get yourself a repair manual and look at it first. Um, like I said, every door panel is a little different, so if you pull on it wrong or you're not sure, you might end up breaking some clips off on the inside. But this one particularly, when you get screws off, just pulls right off. It has some clips on the inside. So if you don't feel like smashing your fingers, you can use a screwdriver for this. I'll do it old school here. Once you get it off, I'm going to reach behind it. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see, but you got a couple connectors and two rods back here you got to unhook. Once you get that off, you set your door panel off to the side. And right here gives you access to your the three bolts holding your holding your mirror on. What you want to do is just loosen these up just a little bit. Because you want to take these off by hand. Once you get these loosened up, you're gonna to want to hold the mirror with one hand. Take your nuts off the inside here. It's really not that difficult. You can do this in your driveway. No sense paying a mechanic for this one. Just try not to lose them. Get your three nuts off here. Make sure you set them somewhere you're not going to lose them. In this particular mirror, since it's a power mirror, it does have the harness that goes through it. So you'll have to work with this and get it out also. But once you get it out, it's all there is to replacing a, a car um, <laughs> car door mirror.